The demand for chicken farming rose for a variety of reasons, among them as a money-making venture, as well as a passing time activity to relinquish boredom. There are various types of poultry farming you can venture into. This here is the battery cage system of housing. Anwa Ngombe, a poultry farmer in Nyeri County, has adopted this kind of poultry system. Battery cage system is a practice where poultry, especially the egg-laying ones, are reared in identical rows and columns of cages. Iko advantage migi ju kuna mayai, kuna i bolea, unakuza vi nini, viazi, boga ama fitugu hivi. Battery cages are used in intensive agricultural operations that prioritize productivity and profits, which are achieved by spending the fewest resources per unit of production. However, animal welfare lobby groups are now of the opinion that caging the birds compromises their physical and physiological health. Dr. Dennis Bahati, the animal care program manager at Africa Network for Animal Welfare, says that birds should be able to express their natural behavior by providing sufficient space, proper facilities, and company of the animal's own kind for social interactions. These birds are actually within a cage. You can actually see that. Um, so they are not able to actually express quite a number of their natural behaviors. Uh, that's one of them. They are not able to exercise and that actually puts them in a position where they are prone to even conditions like weak bones and sometimes they even get fractures uh, of their bones. It's a condition we call osteoporosis. In this farm, Professor Wanjoi Gishema, a renowned author, practices the free-range type of poultry farming. He tells us that the welfare of his animals comes first. He also farms dairy, sheep, as well as pigs. Despite improvements in poultry farming techniques over the years, the welfare of farm animals remains a major concern. These ones are stress-free. Yeah, you give them food in the morning and, and, and that's it. They are stress-free. They also reproduce themselves. I, I have not bought many. In fact, there were very few. And they have reproduced themselves. That free range it needs a lot of attention. You know, that semi, semi and they improve Kenyaji also. They, they need uh, more attention than these ones. They are more delicate. They eat more even. They eat a lot. Uh, so, in fact, if foods, the prices are not adjusted, uh, those ones you cannot be able to take them. You cannot be able to maintain them. But these ones you can. According to John Maina Karima, Nyeri sub-county veterinary officer, farmers in the region have been receiving training on good animal husbandry, including disease prevention and treatment, humane handling, slaughter, and the provision of suitable nutrition and shelter. We usually meet every year for the show. We train farmers in so many things, animal welfare, animal diseases, animal breeding, all that. It's, it's our responsibility. Disadvantages of the system from their point of view included the birds appeared to be stressed in the cage, vent pecking during egg laying, feather pecking, as birds are crowded in the cages. Birds tend to get overweight, increasing their susceptibility to sudden death syndrome. <laughs> Some countries have started facing out the battery cages. In June 15, 1999, the European Union EU passed a directive on the welfare of laying hens requiring that battery cages, so-called because they are arranged in batteries of rows and tires, be phased out by 2012. Yes, actually there's a lot of partnership and collaboration with government, uh, both at the county and the national level. Uh, and, and one of them is also actually looking at policies and laws that can better protect the, our animals at the end of the day. Uh, so that's very, very key because as an organization, we, 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 really, uh, we are really strong when it comes to uh, partnerships and collaborations, not only with government institutions, but even the communities and the farmers that um, are, are keeping these animals. African Network for Animal Welfare recommends that as the poultry industry in Kenya develops and integrates new technology and new ways of doing things, there is need for Kenya to incorporate legislative frameworks that take precautionary approach in that the policies cushion all the risks that may accrue from the expansion of the industry as well as cater for the poultry welfare needs. <laughs> Linda Koskei, K24 TV.